Words as Magic, Connie Mendez reveals how to attract what you truly want. In this video, I will unveil the 10 most powerful teachings from the author Connie Mendez regarding personal development and spirituality, which have transformed the lives of thousands worldwide. But first, it's crucial to understand who Connie Mendez was. Connie Mendez was a Venezuelan writer and speaker renowned for her teachings on personal development and spirituality. She dedicated herself to spreading the knowledge of spiritual metaphysics in Latin America. Her work has left a profound mark on Latin American popular culture and has been translated into numerous languages. The most significant aspect of Connie Mendez's work in relation to personal development was her focus on connecting with inner divinity as a source of strength, wisdom, and guidance in life. Through her books and lectures, she imparted to her followers the importance of meditation, prayer, and visualization as tools to attain inner peace and personal fulfillment. She also emphasized the significance of self-esteem, belief in oneself, and the power to shape one's own reality through thoughts and emotions. Her legacy has inspired countless individuals to seek personal development and spiritual connection in their own lives. Even today, she remains one of the most influential authors in the realms of spirituality and self-help. Among her notable works are Metaphysics Within Reach of All, Metaphysics 4-in-1, The Wonderful Number 7, The Golden Book of Sayaman, and The Little Blue Book. Without further ado, let's delve into the 10 most important teachings of Connie Mendez. Let's begin with number one. Lesson one, the power of words to attract abundance. Words are vibrations that either draw in or push away what you desire. The power of words to attract abundance. Words are vibrations that attract or repel what you desire. Every word we utter holds creative power. When we speak of lack, scarcity, or limitations, we draw these vibrations into our lives. Conversely, when we talk about abundance, prosperity, and success, we open the doors to receive these blessings. It's crucial to be aware of every word we utter and ensure they align with our desires in life. The universe responds to our vibrations, whether positive or negative. When we speak with confidence and faith in what we wish to attract, it's more likely to manifest. However, if we focus on scarcity, or what we don't want, we emit a negative vibration that attracts more of the same. Choosing our words wisely and staying in tune with our emotions is essential. Words are like seeds we plant in our subconscious. If we sow thoughts and words of abundance and prosperity, we will harvest fruits of abundance and prosperity. But if we sow thoughts and words of scarcity and limitation, we'll reap fruits of scarcity and limitation. Be careful not to plant seeds of doubt or negativity in your mental garden. Our internal dialogue is equally important. Be conscious of the thoughts passing through your mind to ensure they align with what you want to manifest in your reality. If we repeatedly tell ourselves that we're not good enough or that we'll never reach our goals, we push prosperity away from our lives. Instead, we should speak with love and confidence towards ourselves and our goals. Gratitude is a powerful tool for attracting abundance. When we express gratitude for what we already have in our lives, we emit a positive vibration that attracts more blessings. Speak with gratitude and joy for everything you receive and focus on what you want to attract, knowing that the universe will always provide what we need. Remember that your words have the power to create your reality. Use them wisely and always in alignment with your deepest desires. Lesson 2. The Law of Attraction You attract what you think and feel, not what you want. The Law of Attraction is a universal principle constantly in motion. Through it, we draw into our lives what we emit from within. If you think positively, feel good, and are at peace, you'll attract positive experiences that reinforce those thoughts and feelings. It's crucial to understand that you don't attract what you want but rather what you are. For instance, if you want to attract abundance, you must think and feel abundantly. You need to feel prosperous, maintain an attitude of gratitude and generosity to invite more abundance into your life. The law of attraction isn't a magical technique where you get what you desire without further effort. You must play your part and take actions on the path toward your desired manifestation. 
This way, you align yourself with the universe. Remember that the law of attraction doesn't work in only one direction. If you're emitting negative thoughts and feelings, you'll attract more of the same. If you feel sad, resentful, or angry, you'll draw experiences that reinforce those emotions. The law of attraction isn't something you can turn on and off at will. It's a universal law constantly in operation. If you want to attract the best into your life, you must be willing to be your best. You need to think and feel positively, act accordingly, and believe that you deserve the best. Lesson 3. Creative Visualization Imagination is the most powerful tool we have to create our reality. Creative visualization is a powerful technique that allows us to manifest our desires. It's crucial to understand that our mental images have the power to shape our reality. Therefore, it's fundamental to be aware of what we imagine and visualize in our minds. Imagination is the engine of creation. If we want to create an abundant and prosperous life, we must learn to use our imagination effectively. We should be capable of visualizing our dreams and desires vividly and precisely in our minds, while simultaneously feeling intense positive emotions. This is how our dreams can manifest in our reality. Creative visualization is a tool that everyone can use to enhance their life. It's a technique that allows us to connect with the creative force of the universe and attract everything we desire. We must be aware that if we can create clear, detailed, and emotional mental images, they hold great power in shaping our reality. Similarly, if we focus on negative and limiting thoughts, we'll attract more of the same into our lives. Therefore, it's crucial to learn how to use our imagination effectively to attract what we desire. Creative visualization is a technique that enables us to tap into our inner power and manifest our desires. We should understand that our mental images are a reflection of our inner reality, and we can change it at any moment. By using our imagination effectively, we can create a more prosperous and abundant reality. Lesson 4. The Importance of Gratitude Gratitude is the key that unlocks the door to abundance. Always be thankful for what you have, not for what you lack. Gratitude is the driving force behind abundance in your life, because when you are grateful, you focus on the positive and stop complaining about what you don't have. Gratitude allows you to be at peace with the present and have trust in the future because you know that everything you need is coming into your life at the perfect time. If you concentrate on what you don't have, you'll miss the opportunity to enjoy what you already possess. Practice gratitude at all times, even when things don't seem to be going well. Learn to find lessons in every experience and be grateful for them because every obstacle is an opportunity to grow and improve. When you feel grateful, you send a signal to the universe that you are ready to receive more. The energy you emit attracts more good things into your life because you are vibrating on the same frequency as abundance. Gratitude is an attitude you should cultivate every day, like a habit that helps you maintain balance and harmony in your life. Being thankful makes you happier and allows you to see the beauty in the simplest things in life, which fills you with peace and satisfaction. Lesson 5. The Power of the Subconscious Mind Your subconscious mind is a powerful magnet that attracts what you believe. Your subconscious mind is like a garden where you can plant the seeds of your thoughts. If you sow seeds of fear and doubt, you'll reap limitations. But if you plant seeds of faith and confidence, you'll harvest abundance and prosperity. Every thought you have is a seed you plant in your subconscious mind. If you believe in your abilities and dreams, you'll send powerful signals to the universe that will help you attract what you desire. Your subconscious mind is like a powerful magnet that draws in everything you believe. What you believe inside reflects in your external world. That's why it's essential to cultivate a positive mindset focused on abundance to attract more of it into your life. You must learn to take control of your thoughts and focus on what you want, not what you fear. Remember that your subconscious mind can't distinguish between what's real and imaginary. So, make sure to imagine only what you want to attract. Never underestimate the power of your subconscious mind. If you concentrate on your goals and believe in yourself, you can achieve anything you set out to do. 
Learn to use your mind effectively and discover the true potential within you. Lesson 6. Emotional Healing Negative emotions are the root of physical and mental issues. Negative emotions have a significant impact on our physical and mental well-being. They can affect our health, relationships, finances, and much more. That's why it's essential to learn how to heal emotionally. Emotional healing is a process that allows us to release the negative emotions we've accumulated over time. It helps us find emotional balance and regain mental and physical health. If we don't address our negative emotions, they can manifest as illnesses. Depression, anxiety, anger, and sadness are some of the negative emotions that can affect our physical and mental health. Emotional healing is not about denying or suppressing these emotions, but rather learning to manage them healthily. It's about releasing pain, sadness, anger, and other negative emotions to find inner peace. To heal emotionally, it's essential to be honest with ourselves and accept our emotions. We must allow ourselves to feel and experience these emotions without judgment both towards ourselves and others. Only then can we find true healing. Lesson 7. Forgiveness as the Path to Liberation Forgiveness frees you from the burden of the past and allows you to move toward the future. Learning to forgive is one of the most significant acts of self-love you can do. Forgiveness is not for the other person, it's for yourself. It helps you release the emotional burden of the past and move forward into the future with a clear mind and a light heart. When we carry grudges and resentments, our energy becomes blocked, preventing us from progressing. Forgiveness is a powerful tool to release that energy, allowing it to flow within us again, enabling healing and growth. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or justifying the pain others have caused us. It's about acknowledging the experience and having compassion for the associated feelings. It's also about understanding and accepting that each person has different awareness and values that may not align with our own. This way, we can free ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and move forward in life. Forgiveness is not easy, but it's possible. It requires a conscious choice and constant practice. Through forgiveness, we can let go of anger and resentment, finding inner peace and freedom from the emotional burden of the past. Through forgiveness, we can open ourselves to new experiences and relationships in the present and the future. Forgiveness allows us to live with gratitude and love, helping us live our lives more fully and purposefully. Lesson 8. The Importance of Self-Esteem Love yourself and you'll attract love and respect from others. Loving yourself is the foundation of all success in life. When you love yourself, you radiate that energy and attract love and respect from others. If you don't love yourself, you can't expect others to love and respect you. Self-esteem is crucial for personal growth and emotional well-being. When you accept and value yourself, you have a positive attitude towards life and healthy relationships with others. Lack of self-love can generate negative and limiting thoughts that hinder your progress. If you blame yourself, constantly compare yourself to others, and criticize yourself, you are damaging your self-esteem and affecting your ability to be happy and successful. Self-esteem is like a muscle that needs daily training. If you focus on your strengths and achievements rather than your weaknesses and failures, you'll strengthen your self-esteem and self-confidence. Remember, you are the most important person in your life. Love yourself and give yourself the love and care you deserve. When you treat yourself with love and respect, you attract those same vibrations from others and life itself. Lesson 9. Acceptance as the path to inner peace. Accept what you cannot change and change what you cannot accept. Acceptance is the key to finding inner peace. Accepting what you cannot change is wisdom. It's understanding that there are situations beyond your control. However, it's also crucial to remember that you can change your attitude towards what you cannot change. Nothing is more painful than resisting the inevitable. If you cling to what cannot be, you only generate unnecessary suffering. Acceptance allows you to let go and open yourself to new possibilities. Don't confuse acceptance with resignation. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. It means adapting to what is. If you cannot accept something, ask yourself whether you genuinely cannot change it 
or if you're holding on to a limiting belief that, in reality, you can take action on. Change begins when you decide to accept what you cannot change. Stop fighting the current and start flowing with it. You'll see that things start to fall into place and take shape. Acceptance allows you to release the past and live fully in the present. Don't get trapped in what could have been or should have been. Accept what is and start creating what you want for your life. Lesson 10. Connection with the Divine Source. Connection with the Divine Source gives you the strength and wisdom to face any challenge. Connecting with the Divine Source provides you with the strength and wisdom to confront any challenge. This connection is the key to finding the inner peace you long for. By establishing this connection, you open the door to the divine wisdom and guidance you need to navigate life with confidence and serenity. Recognizing that you are part of something greater, that there is a divine force that sustains and protects you, empowers you to face any challenge that comes your way. This connection doesn't require intermediaries or complex rituals. It's a direct connection that you can establish at any moment with clear intention and an open heart. By being in tune with the Divine Source, you learn to trust your intuition and the inner guidance you receive. You realize that you're not alone on this journey and that there is always a solution, even if you can't see it at this moment. Connecting with the Divine Source is not tied to any specific belief or religion. It's a personal and profound experience that transforms your life. It gives you the inner peace you need to shine in all your splendor and become the best version of yourself. In conclusion, I'd like to share a quote from Connie Mendez. Life is a wonderful gift from God, and we must live it fully, enjoying every moment and sharing our love and happiness with others. I hope you've enjoyed and learned from these valuable teachings by Connie Mendez that help us grow and improve as human beings. It has been a pleasure sharing them with you. I hope you find them useful and that you'll consider applying them to transform your life. If you'd like to delve deeper into topics of consciousness development and personal growth, I invite you to visit the links in the comments section where you'll find more content that may interest you. Don't forget that you can also subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming videos. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and I wish you great success on your path to personal fulfillment. Always remember that you deserve to live a full and happy life. Face each day with courage and determination, because within you lies the power to achieve your dreams and build an extraordinary future. And that concludes our journey into the fascinating world of the Law of Attraction. Thank you for watching. To the receive a very powerful ancient technique to attract abundance, visit the link in the description of this video, and don't forget to subscribe.